So, good morning everyone. Uh, in this lecture today, I'm going to discuss about how our innate, non-specific immune system deals with the pathogens such as viruses, parasites and bacteria that has already entered inside our host cell. So, that is what I'm going to address in this lecture today. So, the thing is, the innate non-specific immune system deals with bacteria, viruses and parasites that has, that has already entered our host cell actually by producing these interferons, signaling molecule called interferons. So, let's take an example here. Let's say that this blue colored cell is a healthy cell. And when this blue colored healthy cell is infected by viruses, and this cell now is the infected cell shown in the red color. So then this infected cell will, will actually produce uh, green colored molecules known as interferons. And these interferons will be released by this infected cell after its production to the surrounding environment. And this surrounding environment has healthy cells shown in blue color and also other uh, leu le leukocytes such as macrophages and natural killer cells and both of these cells actually have important role in innate non-specific innate immune system okay so what has happened this infected virus infected cell has now released interferons interferons to the surrounding environment so these interferons then what they will do is that they will bind to the specialized receptor on nearby healthy cells okay and when these uh, these 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 uh, interferons have bound to the membrane receptors present on the membrane of nearby healthy cells these cells will begin to produce specialized proteins in this case antiviral proteins so and then they will prepare these healthy cells for future for the viral infections so when these infected cells infected with the virus this cell is lysed and virus particles are released and these viral particles will try to in, enter these new healthy cells but these healthy cells have already um, prepared themselves for antiviral infection viral infection by producing anti antiviral proteins okay so another important function of these interferons is that these interferons they bind to these um, uh, leukocytes such as macrophages very big, big macrophage and also to the natural killer cell and they guide both of these both of these uh, leukocytes to the infected cell and what will happen these both of these actually will destroy this infected cell so another important function of interferons these green molecules is that they can actually also stimulate the cell death of infected cell how they do that they actually inside the cell they have the lysosome and they will break this lysosome and lysosomal enzyme enzymes will be released and they will degrade this infected cell okay and in addition to the uh, infected cells macrophages also actually release these interferons that will amplify the immune response so as explained before so interferons what are these interferons interferons are a group of signaling molecules that are made and released by host cells and in response to several pathogens such as viruses bacteria parasites and also cancer cells so why the name interferon because these interferons interfere with viral replication hence the name interferon and in our body actually our human body it can produce body can produce three different types of interferon interferon alpha interferon beta and interferon gamma interferon alpha and interferon beta they share significantly high sequence homology 
30%, they are both acid stable and they bind to same receptors and also mediate similar biological function, hence they are called type 1 interferons. However, interferon gamma are different from interferon alpha and beta, hence they are called type 2 interferon or immune interferons. Thank you.